Welcome to Triassic Field. Where we're going to build ourselves the world's greatest dinosaur park and also do some horrible, horrible genetic experiments. On the subject of which, I've installed some more mods that let us do horrible, horrible genetic experiments. There's one that lets us morph people into animals. Oh, whoa, what's this? There is a mod that lets us um, build... Oh, I installed the androids mod as well, but there's another one that lets us do evolved organs, things like that. People have been suggesting mods to me that, that would be good to throw into the mod list, so I've been doing that. Speaking of horrible technological monstrosities that shouldn't exist like this mod list, today I want to check out on the world map, wherever the world map button is, I want to check out this mechanoid intrusion. It's just up the road. It wouldn't take us more than half a day to get there. Just to see what it is. Now, I've been told we need to go and look at them just as soon as possible because they're kind of mad. So, I'm thinking when we've got everything sort of set up and safe and when Ryla's up on her feet and when McDonald is either gonna join us or not gonna join us, after that's all said and done, we'll we'll head off. After we've maybe planted some food as well so we can let that grow as we head over there. Sort of see what it's got going for it. I'm hoping it's not just filled with mechanoids that are gonna kill us immediately. But apparently there's a lot of resources there which should be, uh, well, which is obviously kind of fairly relevant right now during this early game. The more resources we can get, the better. Ideally... If we could tame an animal to take with us as well, right, very early on, go for some real early game dinosaur taming so that we can use it as a pack animal. We could also use it as a mount because we have the giddy up mod. I think there's something quite great about John Herman riding over on the back of a Iguanodon over to a mechanoid lair. I think we should probably go for that as soon as possible. If we tame it, uh, wait, what do you mean? Requires all of the best handler. Oh, right, because we've set to not handle animals right now. His handling skill is 15. He's a biologist. He's a dinosaur man, so he knows how to deal with them, you know? Um, Ryla, we just recruited, but oh my god, you're terrible. Wow. There's very little we can do with... Okay, you can harvest and grow. You know what? Even though they're bad at harvesting and growing, I think we just have that as their number one job. They can also cook. Okay, so we'll have them just in charge of food for the colony right now. That's probably... I mean, they can't really do a whole lot else, so we'll just roll with that for the time being. There we go. Um, can't haul, can't clean. Oh my god, you are terrible. And if they can't do that, I guess stick him as a quarry slave for the rest of time. That'll do it. Okay, so we'll get John Herman to see if we can tame this animal. Obviously ride that over to the... Is there anything cooler we might want to tame? That thing would be nice if it was still alive. Um, Yeah, all the cool dinosaurs seem to be very much dead. Uh, What about... Okay, you're also dead. What about a, a suc succum succuminius? That's demonetized right there. Um, What have we got? What did that say? Oh, God. Codename... Uh, uh, that's overwhelming, thank you. Let's tame this boy. Let's tame this boy. What's his DPS? His mellow DPS? Because, of course, we can use these for combat as well, for hunting, things like that. Um, oh, 80% chance of, of attacking on fail. Maybe not. Okay. We'll roll with that guy for the time being, just sort of see how lucky John gets with that. Oh? So they produce... They don't produce actual, just regular milk. They produce this horrible... That yellow milk? Yellow milk. I don't think we should be drinking that. This yellow thick milk is definitely not edible. It's highly unstable, so it might be used as an improvised explosive if you have the proper knowledge. Okay, so it's another form of chem fuel, I would assume. We've already got a lot of chem fuel from these guys. My god, I should build a chem fuel generator. There's me saying, oh, let's build a wind turbine, but we've literally got two pack animals that make chem fuel. Don't bother with a wood generator. Holy shit, big brain plays right there. It's big brain time. Let's put that one there and try that instead. Let's get this set up as soon as possible, otherwise my man's going to be sort of running around building wooden floors and shit when really we haven't got any lights or, or sort of freezing, water plumbing, anything in the base right now. There we go. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm hoping they produce enough just to keep this thing ticking over. I mean, we've already got... Can they both both produce chem fuel? I mean, one's male, one's female. Um, yeah, they both can. Very, very cool. Okay, so that should more than keep this guy running for quite a fair amount of time. Get yourself a meal, John Herman. We should probably also build, like, a table and just the really, really basic stuff as well before we leave the colony to go and check out the mechanoid thing. Um, what are we looking for? Furniture. Let's go for a quick dining room table as well. Um, just put it sort of out of the way down here a little bit. That's fine. Right, and then a couple of chairs too. Nice, nice. Wait. Sorry, what? Why do we need to build more wood there? Take that away. What the hell was that all about? We've got bridges already planned out. Oh, right, right. It's saying that we'll have to build a bridge there, but we've already got that. We've already got it planned out, so we'll let him finish that before we uh, before we work on everything else. Let there be light. Oh, or let there be absolutely nothing at all. Right, so let's put down some power conduits as well. Did we build those? I think those existed just where we've sort of repurposed this kind of crappy little building. Right, let's do that. Let's, uh, we'll run another cable through that wall as well so we can stick down some lights very, very quickly here. That should improve mood by a little bit. Um, put a couple of lights in the bedroom as well. Right above the bed. Perfect. That makes a lot of sense. Do something like that. There we go. So that should keep everyone a little happier. Getting down a couple of coolers before we leave as well. Just make sure the base is in a good place and self-sustainable so that Ryla can butcher and cook meals and then John can just sort of fuck off to the, uh, to the mechanoid invasion. So I think let's put down a... 
Let's put down a couple of fields as well. I guess we'll use it in... We'll, put, we'll just put it down as close as possible in this sort of area. 8x20 is probably way too much to start off with here, but it'll do. And a heat wave. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. That's, that's really good. Thanks. Okay. Um, thank God we got the power online, though, huh? That was, that was kind of good timing. So we can put down a cooler in this room and then just vent the rest. And then, obviously... I mean, I did want to turn that into a freezer. Oh, man. We haven't got many meals left. All right, let's put down a cooler there. Let's put down a cooler there. We'll vent these rooms out very quickly. There we go. We'll just do a vent across the whole thing. Um, one cooler to deal with that, and then maybe put down a passive cooler as well, because I don't know how much power with this thing. 1,000 watts. Actually, to be, as long as we are staying ahead of the chem fuel production, that should be fine. We can afford to put down a second one here as well. Oh, I don't know. I don't like it, but I'm going to do it just to just so that we don't immediately die of a heat wave, because that would suck. Right, John, what are, you, what are you doing that's not building all the time, my friend? Oh, he is building, but he's building, like, random chairs and shit. Let's focus on keeping ourselves alive before we worry about tables, furniture. I know we need to walk around to it without a table, but for the time in, I think it's a bit more important. Do we even want to worry about the wind turbine right now? I'm going to say no. Let's come back to that later on. Let's worry about actual survival before we are more concerned about power, because I think there should be more than enough for this tiny little base we've got. Then, after that, we have to focus on farms. Otherwise, we are just going to start starving to death. McDonald isn't joining us, but they're also not leaving. I don't know why. Maybe it's because they've got that psych addiction. They still count as an ill colonist or something like that because they've got the withdrawal going on. But you kind of think they would just piss off. Maybe if I put a hole in the wall. Maybe they can't, like, operate the doors? I don't know why. That shouldn't be the case. Hey, we've got light. Nice work. And there is our first cooler online as well. Right, so it's looking at... Okay, it's still 35 degrees in there. We need to work on these vents as well and obviously get the other cooler set up as soon as possible. 39 degrees for one night is certainly not going to kill them. Uh, these guys want to come visit. Visitors arrived from the north, obviously. Um, let's refuse visitors until I have guest beds so that it's not going to keep bothering us because we haven't really got anywhere for them to uh, to sleep or to, to have recreation or anything like that. And if we annoy them, then it will drop the mood and they might never want to come back and that would ruin the, the chance of this uh, Jurassic Park kicking off in the future. Sorry, not Jurassic Park. Triassic. Triassic theme themed world. What do you want? Just leave. <laughs> McDonald's gone berserk. I think we're going to have to... Just remove the bedroom wall, otherwise they're just going to keep freaking out. Fuck off. Get out of my base. Never come back. What is he doing? Melee attacking John. If you try it, you will die. I mean, I kind of want to stop him. Oh, shit. Are they part of a... They're independent, though. Just shoot him. Don't shoot that muffalo. Do not attack that muffalo. Get out of here. We might just have to capture him as a prisoner. My God, he's hard. Holy shit, what's wrong with you? Uh, oh, he's tough. Right, right okay, got it gonna say this guy's like being shot by a charge rifle he's just shrugging it off come on take him down oh my god john 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 please 16 shooting could have fucking fooled me my man there we go headshot and he's still coming at us this is fucking gregor clegane right let's move south kill him kill him kill him take him down what the hell is this man <laughs> what are you holy fuck uh, i might turn this into a prison if we can take him alive okay he's downed right turn that into a prison Let's capture him and see if we can... I mean, this way we're definitely going to be able to recruit him eventually, right? Let's grab him. Can we patch him up? Or is he just taking so many shots at this stage? Probably going to drop down dead. But hey, it's his own fault as far as I'm concerned. Right, how are we looking? Bleeding out in four hours. No, we can definitely save this guy. He doesn't get the medicine, though. He do doesn't get the good medicine. Fuck him. He, d he doesn't deserve that. That's at four hours and he's just dead in immediately. Oh, I bet his adrenaline rush wore off. Right, okay, fair enough. Well, there's nothing we could have done for him then. Um, you know what? Fuck that guy. He's, it, that was that was not that was not nice. We rescued him. We saved his life. He went berserk and punched my cow. Nobody punches my cow. This is John Herman's dark side coming out. Sees animal abuse and he just goes completely nuts. And there we go. The base is basically up on its feet now. We could do with our we could do with a little bit of light in the kitchen, huh? Otherwise our butchers can have a hard time, or, or any of our cooks are gonna have a hard time. Let's put it in the center. We should also build another one of these because it will sp speed up their workload by a very very small amount. It's not super significant, but when Ryler is sort of the only person in charge of doing that. We kind of need all the help we can get, really. Okay, so now we're focused on food, and then we can go check out that mechanoid thing. That's uh, sort of my goal for today, really, is to go and see go and see what that's about, see if we can salvage any resources to make this early game a little bit quicker. Uh, let's go for some rice just to start off with. Then, of course, we need to worry about plumbing's bathroom. We've, we've got a latrine right now. It's not fantastic, but it doesn't really make too much difference. The only thing that they're really upset about using that is if they... Uh, oh, my God, we don't have any food. Uh, is if someone else just sees them doing it, but... You know, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be that big a problem. Right, let's go harvest these berry bushes for the timing. Actually, there's quite a lot of them. We should be okay. So we can also do fishing. We do have the fish industry mod. Now, as I recall, this is a slightly more complex one. There's two big fishing mods. I don't remember. Yeah, so this is the slightly more complex one, whereby 
you get a percentage based on how much water there is. So you can see they're fishing in this small pond. There is deep water, so it will give us 49% depending on the angle we put it on. Is there anywhere better than that? We've got 32 there. 36, 41. Yeah, I think 49 is probably going to be our best bet. So it's sort of more limiting. There was another fishing spot, I believe, the other mod is called, where you just designate water, they'll just sit there and fish. This one's a bit more complex. Actually allows you to breed various different types of fish, allows you to set up a whole fish-based industry. That's what we can use to feed the dinosaurs, and that's partially why I've got this going on. We'll have to have just giant aquariums breeding food for those guys. Otherwise, feeding that many dinosaurs is going to be a pain in the ass. We have to, like, manually hunt animals. It's the base... How are we looking? Yeah, 27 degrees. That's pretty good. Probably shouldn't have put the generator in the main area that we're trying to keep cool. Doesn't make a huge amount of sense, but hey. Um, let's get building done before growing. Yeah, let's do let's do that. But we want construction to probably come before deconstruction as well. Honestly, it doesn't really matter too much. That, that's fine by me. Nice, there we go. Ryler is fully healed, so that's that should help out with the base quite a lot. We can start working on this slight food issue that we have going on right now. We've got enough berries to last in a couple of days. What I should also do then is... Oh my god, we have exactly the power we need... Besides enough for this light here. Okay, that's that's quite annoying. Grid excess zero. So we could do with that a little bit more power. I've also uninstalled this water treatment for the time being. It needs being repaired. And it, honestly, it's not necessary for this stage. We've only got two people. We don't need a whole water treatment plant. Septic tank is more than enough. We should probably install that outside. I feel like just having a septic tank lying around, you know, adjacent to this guy's bedroom, having the vent right by that. Probably not the best plan. Let's move that over and let's reinstall this down here too. Just to tidy up the base somewhat. That way, if we get batteries or whatever, we can build a little, like, utility cupboard. Might want to replace all this wood at some stage as well, because it seems like a fire just waiting to happen. Let's queue up four simple meals. <gasps> Fuchsia got the plague? Shit, that's a pain in the ass. Um, we need to focus on keeping that animal alive, because obviously it's powering our whole grid. Might even want to put down another generator, because these things produce chem fuel very quickly. Have a whole chem fuel powered base. Have a literal animal powered base. This is where I wanted to go with this campaign. You know, animals providing the food, the power, the defenses, everything. So let's uh, let's make sure these meals are queued up before I get too distracted with anything else. And so we'll pause when satisfied. Uh, we got two guys. Honestly, what do we really need? We need two to three meals a day, isn't it? I think it's three meals a day. I mean, we can unpause at like let's keep it a multiple of three. Then let's go. Uh, no, no, let's do let's do twelve. So let's go. Currently have so do until twelve. Unpause at six. That way everything's nicely divisible. Even if they eat three meals a day, if they eat two meals a day, there's two people. Everything is uh, has a common multiple there. So we'll roll with that for the time being. The farm is probably overkill as well for what we've got going on right now. But again, we'll just leave it in the hands of Ryla. Because Ryla can't really do fuck all else. To be honest, what we might want to do is, as John's traveling, expand the farm even more. So Ryla at least has something to do. Because it's not like she can even clean the base. Um, oh, doormats would be a really good idea as well. We want the animals to be able to retreat inside so they're not hunted by all these other dinosaurs but bringing so much crap into the base um put down a couple of sleeping spots so you can have a nice sleeping spot by the generator why the fuck not that's definitely not a fire hazard waiting to happen also we need to be able to tend to these animals so let's oh a man trap is hunting john for food uh right that's a bit of a pain in the ass have we got another weapon lying around do you not have anything um i'm gonna assume not Dinosaur hide. Wow, you had so much random shit. I wish I'd have stripped you, actually, before I killed you, in hindsight. Um, not that I thought they would die. It was the adrenaline rush. I completely forgot it gave them bonus consciousness. Um, okay, then. How do we want to deal with this? I don't know that a charge rifle is going to be enough to wipe this thing out, but I'm going to try it. Let's stand him in the doorway so we can quickly retreat if this thing gets a little too close. Um, right, Ryla, you just, you just come indoors. Let's set a move route so that they're definitely going to come through that door there. Okay. Come on, then, man trap. Let's see what you've got. I don't know how strong. I, I mean, we have fought these things before. What, what's their... What are we looking at in terms of DPS? Three... Okay, so they're not actually that powerful in terms of how hard they hit. Yeah, that was not a problem at all. Okay, back to work, boys. All right, John, I'm going to get you to clean this house because honestly, it's a shit tip. We're also going to try and put down... How much... Do we get any leather? Have we got anything? We could strip that guy and, and rip apart his apparel. We can recycle it so that we can use it for doormats. Um, are these guys produce wool as well. 50%, 50... 49%, okay. So we could eventually put down some doormats as well to stop all this shit happening. Oh, the, the boxes. Right, right. Do the boxes first so we can tend to these goddamn animals a bit more effectively. That was close. Don't worry, I did realise that uh, apparently Muffalo can't sleep in the tiny little animal boxes. Who'd have thought it? Right, so the farm's all set and ready to go. The house is relatively clean. They've got power. They've got ways of producing food. Um, I'll say butcher creature, although I don't think it's entirely relevant. They might just go and find some line around on the map if I do that and allow all. Right, John has nothing to do now, so I guess we'll try taming... Uh, what was that? Holy shit, I think we found something better we want to tame, huh? Hello. Uh, can you be, can you be my friend? Let's, uh, let's tame you. May attack upon failed taming attempts. 80% chance. 
Wow. Uh, we're going to have to take this very, very carefully. No usable food. Right, right, right. So let's go around and just harvest some more food to keep us going for the time being. Um, harvest all plants. Let's see what we can get here. Both of them have nothing to do right now, so we might as well uh, we might as well work on something like this. Also, designate some trees to be cut down as well. That wouldn't hurt. Um, what have we got? Have we got anything in the sort of immediate base area? Oh, yeah, that would do for the time being. Just so that we can build up the sort of fishing piers. I assume Ryla can... I, I'm, I mean, that's got to count as hunting, right? There's definitely no fishing job. Um, no, there's no fishing job. Okay, that's fine. So we do something like that then, so that these guys can get a bit more wood, so that we can get ourselves set up. Riley can just sit there, fish, cook food, manage the base while John goes off on his little adventure. But I want to tame one of these dinosaurs first, so that we can go over there in style. We don't want to be just... What is it? Is that a giant crocodile? No. I want that giant crocodile. Where is it? A dy dinosuchus. Um, uh, what's your melee DPS? I assume it's horrendous. 7.86. Actually, not as high as I thought. Okay. So we'll try and tame that guy and ride him. Oh my god, there's so many new dinosaurs. Yes. I also forgot that uh, yesterday, obviously, I, I asked you guys to to give me some names for the faction and the uh, and the theme park. The top the top comment got T Rex Buckley Inc, which is incredible. In memoriam for our boy Rex Buckley. I was actually gonna bring back Rex Buckley again or or, or Mecha Rick as one of the characters in here, but you know what? I thought let's let's let them lie. They they've earned their rest. Let's let them have their uh, let's let's let them sleep. We've also got not Jurassic Park as our community as well, which is great. That's going to help avoid any copyrights. It's clearly not Jurassic Park. It says on the sign. Okay, so focusing now on, I guess, getting a little bit of food, trying to harvest any plants that we've got as well. I should really get John to harvest the berry bushes so that we can get that dinosaur tamed as quickly as possible. So let's just get him, let's get him working on this shit. Don't worry about, no, 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 don't worry about the pier right now. I guess we could also maybe use that, but it looked like a big old herbivore to me, so I don't want to waste, I don't want to waste fishes on the wrong type of animal. Right, come on, go and get this one too. Where, where have you gone? What do you mean, zut? No! That's bad. Ryla, deal with that. Thank you. I thought Ryla was incapable of firefighting then, seeing as they're completely shit and useless up most of the- Oh, come on! Game. Game, we need a serious chat. Why are you trying to kill off these goddamn animals? They're the only thing we've got going for us right now. Last time we tended it, we were like 27% and I was shitting it, but we should be good here. I'm going to see 1%. We should be fine? Oh, I don't know. It's barely staying ahead. Oh, God. Am I going to have to waste good medicine on- well, it's not a waste, because they're obviously keeping the colony going. Do we even have any good medicine besides... We've only got herbal? Oh, shit. Wait, what happened to all of that glitter tech? Is it in his... Ah, there we go. Do I want to use glitter world medicine on these muffalo? Absolutely. Absolutely, I do. Thank you for asking. They're the guys that are keeping things afloat here. Without these ones, we would be um, a little bit screwed. Let's go full-blown, best medical care science can buy. Ooh. What? A neighboring town contacted you through the radio, which we don't have, saying that some of their townsmen were attacked by mechanoids. Uh, location is marked on your map. It's not between us. Okay, so funnily enough, it's in the mechanoid intrusion. Weird that. <laughs> Who'd have thought that you might be attacked by mechanoids in a giant mechanoid area of the planet? How strange. So we have absolutely no food at all. The berries are already gone. We have nothing left excepting fishes at this stage. So... I think the taming might have to wait, because I'm probably going to spend all episode focusing on taming this bloody dinosaur and not actually... Oh, you guys might have. That's the dream. That right there. This right there is the dream. Holy shit, they basically confirmed that you can indeed ride on dinosaur. That's so good. Okay, welcome to the base. Let's see what you've got. Who's our best social? It's got to be John Herman, right? Um, oh, and of course, self-tend. And of course, self -tend. What is this one? This is... Surgery uses the best med medicine. Obviously do that. Um, right, so... In terms of social, then, we've only got one guy capable of it, and even then, he's not very good. That's going to make a huge amount of difference, I will admit. Oh, it's a slaver, right. Androids. H how how futuristic. Um, somewhat advanced android capable of perfectly strong. Okay, so they do have varying skills, then. Lazy, psychically deaf, and kind is this android, and the tier 3 android is... Nimble, skilled medic, and volatile. Okay, skilled medic seems to be somewhat betraying itself there with 3 medicine. They're not very good. They're not very good, and also we don't have that much money. What about Cave, the sheriff? Um, good at shooting. Iron World Iron Man is a fantastic combo. Holy shit, wow. This guy's going to be impossible to break. Shooting of 11 would make for a great... A great emergency sheriff, if necessary. Right now, though, I think we could take the pemmican and maybe try and tame an animal with that. Um, 470, 255 pemmican. You know what? Let's do that. And then if he goes on his journey as well, we've got a... A food in storage that's capable of keeping him, you know, there for a couple of days, if needs be. Tame him. Tame him, John. Why is this a horrible idea? What's he doing? Why did he not tame it? Uh, excuse me. Tame? Cannot... Why did he not tame that? Uh, very strange. Okay. He can't tame it again. 
That's weird, because he didn't even attempt it. He just sort of... It, it said that we could tame it. I prioritized it, and then nothing happened. Oh, maybe someone ate the food that we had. That's probably more likely. Um, have we got any just berries lying around them from where they've harvested... Harvested trees and not hauled it yet. This is going to be a pain in the ass to try and find some. Huh? Um, you got loads of medicine. What is that? Oh, a dead dino. Okay. Um, we've got 109 berries there. Let's just go ahead and do that. Select similar. Pick everything on the map and then get it all hauled back to base. That way, hopefully, we can tame it. I'm assuming that thing's a herbivore for hopefully obvious reasons. Imagine bloody Rylerate right? all the berries. How it do? 26% and 37% on the flu there. Pregnant middle stage. Well, we can't afford to lose this muffalo. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a whole new generation. What are you doing? What was that? You just deliver off some, some berries, eh? Okay. Um, let's give it a go, then. In theory, we should be able to do it now, right? Oh, what is that thing? <gasps> that looks spooky. An Archanthrosaurus. Okay, uh, no, I, I still want to focus on the other... Oh, he's gone. Okay, fuck you, too. Fine, I guess you are the... It's still the same risk, and I think this thing might be more useful. Animal sleeping. Understandable, really. Probably don't want to wake it up to feed it berries. Plus, I imagine this thing can eat pemmican as well, so... That's our goal, then. Oh, God. Oh, what is that? One of your colonists had got sick from cow morph? What? What is that? Cow- Oh, whoa? Cow- Oh my god, is this from that bloody animal's polymorph mod? Uh, we can get sick from- So he's turning into a cow. John Herman's turn- Is this what you're telling me right now? My main colonist is being turned into a fucking cow? I didn't sign up for this. What are you talking about? Cow morph changing. So if we leave it, he's just going to become... He's going to become John... John Hermu. <laughs> God, I hate this fucking series. Alright, um, that will be an official rename, I'm telling you now, if he turns into an animal. Holy fuck. Um, can I, we can't tame it again. John, my man, is it because he's becoming an animal? Um, I don't get it. I don't understand. Let's try taming. Okay, all right, all right. Watch this. Watch this. Ready? Tame. Okay. Oh, he's trying. Did it work? Oh, he left the map. Fuck you. Oh, maybe that's why. Maybe if they're leaving the map, then we can't tame them. Um, why are they only appearing here and not spreading out? I bet. And I, I bet it's because they've got enough food there that they don't need to spread out. And then they're also leaving the map just naturally. It's like we've only got a few animals that have actually made the jump to go into this main area. That kind of sucks. Um, what we could do to avoid that is concrete over this whole thing. Concrete over the whole thing, and then the animals will be forced to actually come into the map a little bit more. Because right now, they're spawning in. They're, they're here for all of about two seconds before they're... Like, we can't even... I can't even click on this guy. Where is it? Right, there we go. Tame? Uh, we can't tame him. Yeah, that's a little bit annoying. You know what? Let's just go on our journey. Let's just go on our journey. If I'm trying to tame these animals, it's going to take ages. We might need to concrete over this whole thing so that, the, uh, so that the animals will spread around the map a bit more. We could also focus on obedience for Fuchsia and... Uh, what was the other one called again? Whitney. So that way, these guys, they're four out of five right now. Because I did think, you know, we might as well try and tame them a little bit. We could ride on those guys. But if we lose them during the mechanoid journey, it would be a big blow to the colony. All we want to do is just, just head over to the closest tile and just check it out. That's all. So form a caravan. Let's take John and let's say... 45, yeah, that's fine. Take some pemmican with you as well, my friend. 12 days food, it's overkill. It's complete overkill. Didn't really affect his movement, though. Right, so that's going to take... Oh, it's going to take no time at all to get there. Fuck it. We didn't even need an animal. Right, go, little John. Let's see what we can find. Absolutely flying. My man's flying down this road. <laughs> he's sprinting. He's, he's feeling his cow nature. Come on, let's do it. What have we got? Show me the mechanoids. Set up camp. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Holy shit, what is this? Sessile mechanoid tree. Holy shit. This is, um, this is something. What's all this stuff? Ancient metal walls. Wow. And there's a load of, like, smashed ship parts. Long abandoned ship part. We've got a bunch of steel. Just a crazy amount of steel. Holy shit. Yeah, this is very odd. Is this all metal floors? Polymer flooring. What happens if we rip that up? Okay, we've got some experimenting to do here then, huh? Um, let's start at removal floor. Okay, so that's just like dirt, soil. We can't actually do anything with that. Oh, what's all this stuff over here? Uncovered metallic pipes. What, can we rip that up? Uh, no. Interesting. What happens if we cut down these trees then? Let's try it. Um, good luck. Please don't die. Prioritize cutting that thing down. Okay, we can, we can cut it down. Oh! Medical emergency animal. Oh, God, is he, is he okay? Has life-threatening malnutrition? What?! Eat the fucking rice. You're not limited by anything, you weird man. Why has he got life-threatening malnutrition? Uh, rescue fuchsia? I have no idea. That's so strange. Okay, build a copy. I assume you can't handle animals, though. Um, oh, handle you can. Fuck, yeah. Good, 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 good. Rescue. 
I don't know why it's not eating food. That's so strange. Feeding simple meal to Fuchsia. Well, Fuchsia's gonna be fine. That's just very odd. Okay, John, what do we what do we get from that tree though that we chopped down? Uh just wood. Okay, that's a bit boring. Um what about this thing? Long abandoned ship park. Can we not Can we not dismantle it? Can we can we beat it? I don't want to, just in case it does wake up any mechanoids. Okay, and we've got a whole bunch of ancient metal walls. I assume they'll give um let's go give him a point in mining there. I assume this is just steel, something along those lines. Come on, give us give us something here. Boom. Give steel slag chunks. Oh wow. That's interesting. Shit, so there is a lot of steel potentially from this map. And then of course we've got all of this random stuff just lying around, which we'll take back with us. Because that's a lot that's a lot of bricks, if nothing else. Six hundred and eight granite is, is huge. Holy shit. Um, we've got uranium. We've got naturally just 1,000 steel lying around there. A whole bunch of components. Can we dismantle these? My god, this is insane. Although I feel like we're fucking with things that we don't really understand. Um, I love that there's so few animals and so few plants as well. It makes us feel really sort of dead and hostile, doesn't it? Okay, future is good. That's eight components from that. My god. Get as many components as possible. And then, I mean, we can always just set up a new camp later on, huh? Uh, okay, okay, I know, I know that you're sad, I know that you want to go home for food, let's get this, and then you can go home, honestly, we'll, we'll leave at that point, perfect, right, uh, let's go world map, let's reform this caravan, let's say John, and take with you whatever you can carry, let's take the components, let's take, uh, let's take as much steel as we can as well, it's not gonna be very much, what about some blocks, what if we take, like, the, the granite blocks with us, seven, 26 components makes this more than worth itself, and we can keep coming back here to pick through more and more of this, my god, okay. 0 0.6 days to get home. You know, leave now. Let's get out of there. What the hell has happened today, honestly? <gasps> he... Look at his face. No. <laughs> we went to a mechanoid hive, took it apart, stole their stuff. Oh, right, okay. Animal pet. No, no, no. We've, we've agreed. We've said no to you before. And John's turned into a cow. What the hell is going on here? We've got abandoned camp. We've got Roman mechanoids. Okay, that's fine. This is so weird. The cool thing about the abandoned camps, though, is that they'll stay around for obviously 60 days, which means we can go back and pick the other stuff if we leave anything behind. We can go and grab that. It won't generate a new instance. We can abandon camps, though, so if we do want to generate a new instance, we can. Oh, a Styracosaurus. A pet Styracosaurus would be kind of cool. John, you're a cow now. Um, bovine snout. Eating is higher, talking is lower. He's got horns on his skull. What does that do? Burly horns decorate John's head. And then he's also got... Um, they may moo and talk about bovine related things every now and again. Uh, and unless we stop this, is he just going to turn straight up into a cow? Oh my god. I'm not sure I like this. I'm not sure. Is this okay? Is this okay? I'm not going to be... Is this offensive to someone? That's what I'm getting at. He's moo kind now. This is fucking odd. This is really just fucking strange. We'll live, little Moo. 100% immunity. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll drop him back down to, uh... We'll drop him back down to herbal medicine. That's probably... That was probably way too overkill. But, obviously, if we'd have lost these guys, it would put us back so far in terms of power. We'd have to go and harvest enough stuff for wind turbines, build up a new power grid and whatnot. Man, that was so many components. We're up to 44 now. My god. This has been... up, oh, mad turkey. Um... <laughs> okay, okay. Ryla? Flee. Fly, you fool. Uh, John? Let's go deal with this turkey. Wow. Um, I'm not really sure what to think about him becoming a cow. I, I hope this doesn't end with him actually becoming a straight-up cow. Otherwise, that is going to set us back massively. I mean, look at his skills. He's got great shooting, great animals. I mean, that's kind of really it, to be honest. Um, obviously, good medical and intellectual as well. We can't afford to lose him. That would really, really suck if this guy just became a cow and then couldn't research. So, if you know how this ends... Please let me know, because I will stop it using dev mode, because I was fully unprepared. I had no idea this was part of the mod. But, um, wow, that's, uh, that's horrible. There's the steel, though. Uh, I should have already bought home some steel instead, huh? Looks as if we could be... Ah, oh, there's some. Okay, there's actually quite a lot over here. It's annoying that we have to go to the other side of the map, but, okay, there's a little bit there, too. Um, is that an ancient danger? It could be. There's enough room there. Yeah, there is enough room there. That could be an ancient danger. Okay, we'll have to keep an eye on that later on to make sure that we don't, uh... Accidentally rip that apart if we're looking for steel, for example. Um, right, okay. Uh, there is a little bit there, but actually getting to it means we're gonna have to mine through the whole mountain. To be fair, I want to see what this amber was like, but it's got 2,000 hit points. Is that not more than plasteel? That's a lot. Um, and you gotta bear in mind, we don't exactly have the highest mining scope. Are there any, like, ship chunks or steel slag even? Nothing. Alright, let's just go for this then. I'll just, I'll just bite the bullet on that one. I was thinking it might even be quicker to go back to the... In fact, it probably is legitimately quicker to go back to the hive, pick up some steel, and just come back to base with it, because it takes less than a day to get there. He's adapted to his bovine stout. That's an interesting mechanic. 
that the longer he's got it, the more he'll get used to it. So his talking is now only minus 8%. That was one of the... Oh, right on cue. Thank you. Holy shit, that was really convenient. Right, let's also take those out. Man, um... I guess it could be fine. Who better to run a park of animals than a man who has become animal himself? It's perfect. I wish he'd have become like a bit more dinosaur. That would have been good. Maybe there is a way using the genetics mods to actually become that. I assume the polymorph though, based on the fact that it has, you know, custom graphics and everything, you're sort of limited in what animal you can become. I'm going to assume it, c it can't just randomly generate dinosaur parts for your, uh, your colonists. That would be kind of crazy sophisticated. Right, so what do we want that steel for then? Oh, a bathroom. Right, right. So that was going to be the next job because right now they are just literally shitting on the floor outside, which is not exactly, I mean, for John, it's probably second nature at this stage, but for everyone else, it's a little odd. Um, where do we want to build that? I suppose we could just, oh, right, right by the map. There. I was going to say we could put a little room on the end of there. We could also give them a bedroom each, or a bathroom each, attached to their bedroom. That could work. Um, they don't need to be massive. We'll take up a little bit of the farm there, but it, it's alright. It's not a big deal. Right, so let's remove that. We also probably want to remove the door between their bedrooms, because that's just weird. What the hell was that you were carrying there? Tail teeth? Oh, probably from the fishing. Right, so we're actually getting a decent amount of fish. So zero fish in stock. It has to naturally replenish as well. Use grain to uh, obviously bait the fish. So you can't just sit there and farm constantly. So actually building another one to a separate water body, like building one over here as well, 56, because it's obviously a slightly larger lake. That's pretty good. Um, and what about, what about like this one? That's a huge lake. That's got to give us a, a plenty, a good amount of fish, right? 64. Okay, it's not fantastic. It's still good though, don't get me wrong. I'm putting a couple of these down would ensure that we've got that nice sort of decent level of food as well. We need a way to lure animals to the center of the base. So like I said before, we could just concrete over the whole thing. Why don't we just drop a bunch of meals and raw meat over here? Because I believe the animals will always eat what is the most nutritionally beneficial that is easy to access. So for example, if there was a meal all the way over here, they would, you know, they necessarily wouldn't go for it rather than just the, uh, just the grass that's lying around. But if we put it somewhere closer to the center, like these guys, there is some natural spread out of the animals just from where they've sort of wandered a bit more south due to completely random pathfinding there. But these guys, unfortunately, we're missing out on a lot of dinosaurs because they're just moving in and then despawning immediately. So putting down some raw meat to, to lure over those bigger sort of carnivals might make a lot more sense. Um, might be something we also naturally want to replenish. Maybe set a stack limit, have it set to critical, so that we'll always haul some meat over and have it in the middle of the map there. Hello, my friends. What are you? Uh, Bolt Traders from the Mechanical Confederation. Hello. I, I hope you don't mind about me. Is that Boba Fett? What the fuck's going on there? See, the Boba Fett, or that's a Whalmer. That is, the t tell me that's not a fucking Whalmer on that man's head. Okay, uh, trade with, trade with Sam, the Bolt Goods Trader. What have you got for me? See, Devil Sheep U. Those are incredible. Those are absolutely incredible. We've had them on, on a couple of different series now. Essentially, they just grow Devil Strand naturally. Now, one by itself isn't going to make a huge amount of difference, so I'm not going to bother with it. But if we can get many, that would be very good. Polymer, what type? Um, It's just a polymer. Okay. A strong but flammable building material. Oh, nice. So it's just a, a plastic then, I would assume. Okay, very cool. Neutral, I mean, we've got components, advanced components. Uh, I would like to buy another advanced components if they had any available. Sell the flake, because we don't want that just lying around, really. Um, Amber Roy... Oh, my God, they've got a steel hospital bed. Holy shit, that's a good gain. Wow, that's huge. Um, I'll happily sell them some stuff to be able to afford that, then. What could we sell you? Muffalope milk? Uh, sure, take it. It's, there's nothing we can do with it right now. Anyway, sell them a couple of components. Bear in mind, we've got a mountain of them. We can always just go back and get more in less than a day. Um, let's just do it so that we break even. There we go. That'll lose. We've got two silver left over. Hospital bed is great news. That's really, really good this early on. Just put it in there for the time being. We, we don't really have a dedicated room for it right now. We don't really need a dedicated room for it right now either. I have magically cured John of his cow transformation because, unfortunately, he did just fully transform into a cow. I'm not a real big fan of that, I will admit, because if you're playing the Naked Brutality start or playing any slightly harder start with just a single colonist, either the Naked Brutality or the, the start that we played where you are the, the, the lone explorer with all the, even all the gear that you start with, it's still a guaranteed game over. If we didn't have Ryla, it would be a game over because there's no way in foot we could stop this. So I have removed that for the time being because I'm, I'm not going to remove all of this. I, I think that's kind of funny, the fact that he's turned into a cow in episode two. But obviously, I don't want to be just left with Ryla, who's incapable of almost everything. Like, we have no... I mean, what has she got? She can't even warden, so we wouldn't be even be able to recruit anyone besides just RNG. That would really put a damper on things. So John can remain a cow, but I don't want him to be fully a cow. Thank you. What a weird fucking episode. We've checked out the mechanoid hive, which is definitely the thing I wanted to do. That's, that's a cool little uh, biome. Might be a little powerful. Might be a little OP, given that we can just nip over there in a day and go get all the steel and components we need. Uh, granted, there's a limit to how useful that stuff is gonna be. But, hey, you know what? That's fine. Maybe there's some risk to it that we didn't actually see because we were only there for a few hours. And he became a cow. So this is this has been just an incredible start to the Jurassic Park, I think. 
thank you to the insane top tier level patrons making the series possible for allowing me to make all of these ridiculous crazy mod packs and churn out all these videos. Thank you to Aiden W, Alpha Scuff, Anthony Golly, Asuna Kurosawa, so Atmos, Savage Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Sadini, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Donald, Emerald Beam, Facundo Vasquez, Fluffernutter, Ghost of Protocol, Gogolus, Arik, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Josh Lendine, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Kaden Carter, Michael Muller, Musk Grapful, Nabuscus 911, Nathan Flores, Necrofell, and Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Richard Clark, Scott, Skaz, Somnus, Stannis the Manus, Shayuk, Swain, The Forsaken One, T-Bag Cruz, Tom Terror 18, Tyler Kendall, Vacuous Packers, and William Green. Thank you for supporting the Insane Tier Lovers on Patreon. Thanks for making the channel possible. Thanks for making it so I can do all of this crazy shit. Because it is fairly crazy, isn't it? This is this is not this is not a normal Rimmel playthrough by any stretch. How have we gone from Jilp, the most normal and hardcore Rimmel playthrough, to this? Thank you as well to Asro, Ann in Person, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Attila, Austin Taylor, Bordoon, Ben Trope, Esmus Max, Better Valerian, Black Double H, Chris, Corey CA, David Van Diepen, Don, Nick Hunter 7, Easy to Pronounce Name, Eric Farrell, Exploding Knees, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerko, Gompo, Gray, Hadji Demar, Henrik Stensgard, Icarus, Icy the Great, Ida, Irish, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Yuan de Vries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Luana Thomas, Luke Wallace, Mustolp, Monty, Nathaniel Limburg, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Sammy, Panther Payback 1 through 7, Peyton Denisar, Rush Nolgart, Billionaire, Rodrigo, Ryan Hooper, Smirtworm, Spencer Powell, Soycrates, 08, su sorry, Super Nanny, 089, I'm starting with 089 that time around, Super Nanny, 089, I'm going fucking nuts here, help me, oh my god. <clears throat> the Bloody Knight, The Insane Pickle, Volonkri, Varagon, Voodoo Mumbo, Wesley Grayson, Will Wade, Wolf Sinatef, Wolfie, Yorkus, and Zico 2. Thank you for your support. See you guys all tomorrow for the adventures of Cowman and Useless Fat Lady.